I'm literally so dumb. One day, me and my friend were watching the To All The Boys I've Loved Before movie, and she told me that there were books, and I was like, what? And so I immediately went to Barnes & Noble and bought the box set. I was so excited to read this book that I read it in three days. So today, I will be reviewing To All The Boys I've Loved Before. If you didn't know what a blurb is, it's the paragraph on the back of a book that gives a brief summary on what the book is about. Lara Jean keeps her love letters in a hat box her mother gave her. They aren't love letters that anyone else wrote for her. These are ones she's written. One for every boy she's ever loved, five in all. When she writes, she can pour out her heart and soul and say all the things she would never say in real life because her letters are for her eyes only. Until the day her secret letters are mailed, and suddenly, Lara Jean's life goes from imaginary to out of control. If I had not heard of the series already, if I read the back of that book in like a bookstore, I would think, uh, like lame, and put it back. Now that I think about it, I should probably give more books a chance. So first of all, I really, really like how Jenny Han can describe things and elaborate on things without making it boring. Because I have a really short attention span. Um, and I, I really admire that. It was really interesting how much of the story is actually about her family. It really stood out to me how close she is with them. And she's not giving the whole, oh, I'm a teenager, I hate my family kind of vibe. I was really surprised by her little sister, Kitty. She's very, she seems very mature for her set age of like nine or 10, which I guess that the movie producers or whoever saw that too, because in the movie she's like, aged up to 12 because like she seems like yeah she's fierce and she's childish but she's also she seems way more grown up than i was when i was nine or ten i know some people might hate on it but i really hate margot okay i really don't like the character like just how she is so bland like she didn't even cry when she flew away to scotland for college she didn't cry when she left her family like it's not a dig at the <laughs> actual writing it's just i didn't like the character aside from that i really love their dad like he's so supportive of his daughters and i think it's really wonderful and he's like not like the stereotypical dad where every boy that his daughter brings over he's like interrogating because i'm glad he doesn't do that like he he seems like a really cool dad i love him and he works so hard as a single parent of these three girls and I really admire him. I love some of the representation of her Korean culture too. It's really interesting to see through the eyes of Lara Jean what it's like to be a Asian American teenager. I love the whole concept of love, of love letters. I love how Lara Jean is into that. Just with all of the texting and phones, getting a letter of any kind just seems so refreshing and romantic. I think it's really interesting how she handles her crushes like that. I actually think it's a really good way to get over crushes because it's like you're ta talking to them, but like- You're not. So I really, I really love that. I, and I, of course, I love that she uses cute stationery because I love cute stationery. So when I watched the movie at first, I thought I would like- Roll my eyes whenever he came on, on like, on screen because he's supposed to be like the stereotypical popular jock, you know? Of course he has his bad qualities, but like, everyone has them. One thing that always aggravated me, it probably aggravated mostly everyone else who's read this book, is that he keeps running back to Jen! Like, I've seen the other movies, so I know why, but just like, it makes me angry. Like, just like, just get over your ex-girlfriend, boy. Just come on, come on, come on. You're with Lara Jean now. I really love how considerate and sweet he is to Lara Jean. He really grew on me and I really enjoyed watching him fall for Lara slowly and- While I slowly fell for him. One of my favorite things about him is that he didn't change his personality between like his guy friends and Lara Jean or someone he's like romantically involved with or his oh, family. family. Like I really, I really, I really like that about him because that's usually not the case with boys that I know. And the whole concept where he writes notes to Lara Jean every day, I think that's really cute, even though it's supposed to make Jen jealous. Like, it's still really cute and romantic. And I also really like how, how 
good of a relationship he has with her family. Like, Kitty was skeptical at first, but then he grew on her. And I, I guess that's a given with like his whole charm thing. Josh Sanderson. Josh, Josh, Josh. I feel like in the movies, they really took all the life out of Josh. Because in the book, Lara always tries to stay in touch with him and still be friends and still have like a friendship relationship. In the movies, he just, he just seems like sort of like an NPC just sitting there. Until someone comes to talk to him. I enjoyed his like goofy older brother like personality. Um, I kind of feel bad for him because Peter hates him. But he also hates Peter, but none of them know each other very well. So, like, neither of them really have a say in if the other is a good person or not. So that aggravated me. Sometimes he makes me want to scream for him butting in when there's a moment happening. But overall, he was a pretty cool character. All in all, I would always find myself kicking my feet when I was reading this book. It was so cute and a really fun read. All the little details were so amazing. I do think it's 13 or 14 plus because there are some kissing scenes and some sexual themes. There is no sex in the actual book though. I will get a book review for the second book out soon. I highly suggest you go read it. Don't walk. Run. To the bookstore. I hope you enjoyed my first book review and that I influenced you somehow. I will definitely be reviewing the other books shortly. Bye.